Hello, this is a short uh, video to demonstrate how one can uh, easily produce a planar shear on an existing hull form in Orca 3D. Well, for the purpose of the exercise, I will use this uh, classic uh, sailing yacht hull form. It's of course a model that uh, I developed with uh, Orca 3D. And let's uh, switch to the perspective view. So what is a planar shear? A planar shear is a term that uh, one will meet uh, more particularly in, in your design and when uh, one is seeking elegance of forms. Uh, the definition of a planar shear is when all the points along the shear line, which is the upper edge of our whole form, belong to one unique plane. Although a planar shear will not guarantee fairness, and I will not enter here into the debate of what is fair and what is not. But planar shear is certainly a good marker of quality and elegance because it allows to look at the whole form from any viewing angle, from bow or from stern, um, like the bow here, and from the stern and from below or from above without seeing bumps or hollows. Okay, this is... Um, the the the, uh, the what uh, the, uh, the the planar shear will bring you, and actually an ancient uh, yacht design masters like uh, Erashov, they would look at this uh, feature with uh, with caution. Okay, now how do we do that? First, I will uh, just uh, highlight the uh, hull form, and I will uh, show the uh, the control net. Okay, with Orca. 3D. And then, uh, well, planar shear means that uh, it has, there has to be a plane. So I will define a plane using uh, this rectangle uh, command, snapping to the forward and aft end of the, the, of the shear line, and then s selecting an intermediate point at uh, pretty much midship. And what do I see uh, from this uh, red uh, plane? That although the, um, the design looked quite okay, I see that it's not perfectly planar because I see this uh, small bit of um, of uh, hull planking f uh, above the plane here. Okay, I can further illustrate by doing uh, an intersection. And then we see in red this uh, intersection that represents, uh, I mean, that shows that the, the plane is not quite achieved. So now I will use the C plane command of Rhino to create a temporary construction plane. Right, showing the control points again. So C plane, a C, a construction plane defined by three points. And I will snap again to the forward end and to the aft end of my shear line. And then I will also pick this intermediate point. Now I have defined this uh, temporary construction plane. And it's a plane, it's planar. And then I will pick all the uh, the control points that make this uh, shear line. So OK, and I will select all U vertices. And then I will use Rhino's command to project those objects, those vertices onto the uh, construction plane. So, yeah project to C plane. Okay. Would I delete the uh, input object? Yes, to keep only the uh, resultant vertices. That's it. I don't know if you could notice uh, the difference, but now we have a truly mathematical planar uh, shear, uh, shear line. I will switch the C plane back to the world construction plane. And that's it. Okay, I will uh, switch back on the water plane and perhaps uh, come back to the uh, come back to the uh, profile view to 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 see this uh, hopefully uh, elegant uh, shear line. Okay, I hope this uh, video was of interest to you. I thank you very much for your attention, and uh, we always uh, are at your disposal for any question regarding uh, Orca 3D and uh, and Rhino. Thank you. Bye-bye.